everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I hope everyone's doing well. I uh, did a Dollar General haul this morning and now this evening I have a brand new Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. I didn't expect to go out, but I did go out and oh my goodness, I'm glad I did. All right, so let's not waste any time. I'm going to jump right into it. Let's start off with some Bolero bath bombs. You get three to a package. Each bath bomb is independently wrapped individually. Um, so you could take them out if you wanted to and give them separately or just leave them by themselves. This first one is Lavender Lemon and it does come in a resealable Ziploc bag. So this one's Lavender Lemon. I also found Raspberry Rose. That sounds just lovely. Again, three of them, all um, in just, you know, individually wrapped. And I thought I had one more bath bomb. Yes, there it is. This one, and by the way, they're all Bolero. This one is Coconut Milk and Mango. There's right there and looks like that. So here's the different balls. And like I said, they're all wrapped in plastic separately from each other. I found this Spa April Bath Shower Coconut Oil Infused Microfiber Hair Wrap. Whew, that's a mouthful. There it looks just like that. Usually I just fold my hair up in a towel. I'll just flip a towel over, but I thought this might be kind of cool. Um, I've never used one of these hair wraps, any kind of hair wrap for out of the shower, so I'll be interested to see if that works. Also, some makeup bags if it's not stickers it's makeup bags right okay these are all going to be made from like a vinyl material let me give you a measurement they're all going to have black zippers they're six inches by five inches and the design is not only on the front but it's on the back the first one is a sloth but it's got a unicorny <laughs> and it's riding a rainbow so your designs on the front and the back let's see what it looks like inside and this is what you're in let me see if I can flip it all the way around yeah you kind of get the idea there we go that's what it looks like on the inside so those are cute I found the one with the sloth this with a whole bunch of slots and it says don't worry be happy <coughs> excuse me it says don't hurry don't hurry be happy let's hang and there it is again design on the front and the back then I have this one here that's got all kinds of llamas and it's done with like a lavender background again on the front and the back Last but not least, and my favorite, and you guys are going to know why in about two seconds. It's a unicorn -y. These are nice because you can wipe them right off. You know, they're a soft vinyl, though. And then there is your inside. Just cute enough, you know, to put a few little things. If your weather's starting to get better and you want to just go for maybe a little walk or you're going to go up to the ice cream shop or something like that, um, that's just perfect. Okay. Let's stay with makeup bags because I found a couple more. All right, these are made of plastic and they're like a clear plastic, but they're colored, but you could see through them. Let me just open this one up. So we're dealing with plastic. Let me just open the bottom of this up so you can see. All right, so this was the first one I found. They're kind of scrunched up a little. I'll try to flatten them out a little bit better for you. Okay, so you kind of get the idea. So this one says Vibes, and it's done in this green, but you can see through it because you can see my hand back there. There's your side. These are made by Jot. Then I found one here, and if I puff, I mean, here it is flat without me puffing it up, but they all pretty much are exactly the same size. Let me give you a measurement here because I don't think I did that. Eight and a half inches by six and a quarter. This one is like a orange kind of color and it says stuff. I found a purple one here. Chink. Does this mean change? I'm not sure. What does that mean? 
I don't know what that word is. Does it mean change? Chingy? I'm not sure. Anyways, there it is. And it's done in this pretty purple. They all have the white letters. Last but not least, and I think my favorite, and it just says lit. <laughs> it says lit. L-I-T. Lit. And it's done in this blue plastic. Again, you know, you got a lot of room in these. If I can get the zipper open, my goodness. Um, it's just that they're squished down for shipping purposes. But again, if I pop them open, you can see just how much room you do get in there. Perfect for pencils or makeup and stuff like that. All right, let's get off makeup bags and go to a different kind of bag. These are made by Juncture. They're considered to be a crossbody sack. They have these types of straps and they can be adjusted so you can put them diagonally. These are made out of like a nylon material. The bag itself, excluding the handles, is nine inches in length by seven and a half inches in width. The first one I found is in this pretty butterfly design. Look at all the different colors. You've got this really big zip here in the front that's separate from the actual um, pocket itself. So you have this big zip here in the front, which is very, very nice. Perfect if you're going garage sailing or if you're going to an arts and craft fair or something like that where you want your hands free. The next design in the same size, also by Juncture, was this design here in the stripes with the blue, the yellow, and the pink. And like I said, you know, in this pocket here, you do have quite, I have both my hands in there, so you have quite a bit of room. And it's totally washable on the inside. It's just like it would be in the inside of a makeup bag. It's got that nylon-y so you can wash it off. nylon -y, new word, so you can wash it off if need be. I found one in this print here, which has got pink in there. Hopefully you can see the pink and the yellow with the dark brown. Again, it's on the front and the back. Last but not least, and I think my favorite, because number one, it's done in purple. But it's got on here, love, dream, live, hello, lovely, free, smile, XOXO. I think this is my favorite because it's purple and it just says a whole bunch. And then there's little peace signs right up in there. I don't know if you can see it right there. So this is pretty cool. <coughs> All right. Couple new pens I found. Let's see. We have this by Jot, and this is, um, I wanna say they had these last year or the year before. This, they all write in black. They have a removable cap right here. This is all in that foam, and it's a pineapple. How cute is that? And these are pretty big, they're not tiny. If I measure from the top to the bottom, these pens are nine inches in length. And then I found Mr. Pizza or a slice of pizza, I should say, whoops. A slice of pizza, I should say. Again, all foam. And they had this little waffle. There she is, isn't she cute little face? And again, all squishy. And they all write in black ink. Okay, couple other pens. This one here, I think is my favorite out of all the pens. It's this big pluff ball, real soft, and then it's got this little rainbow and rubber on there, which I think is pretty. This one also writes in black ink and measures 13 inches. And then I thought these were kind of different. So these write in black ink as well, and these are called flower pens. And are they supposed to do that? Yes, they are, they're all like that. And it's just so it makes it look like it's a flower stem. These are a little bit smaller. From the top of the stem to the bottom is six and a half inches. So I found this daisy here and this one here. And it was funny because I saw something similar like this to a office I was in and at the front receptionist. And I would do the same thing when I was up in front offices and stuff like that. I always had crazy little pens because they're just fun. It's something to talk about. So there's two new pens. You guys know how I love my pens. All right, let's jump over to a few stickers. Not too crazy, just a couple packs. These were different because these are not made by Crafter Square, which most of the stickers by Dollar Tree are. So I don't know if this is a new brand. I'm not sure. 
These are all going to be pop-up stickers, every single one of them. And they're made by somebody called Shore Living. And there's the name right up there, Shore Living. So here's the first package I found. And these stickers, you can see just how much they jump off the page right there. They really do stick up quite a bit. Perfect for scrapbooking, um, putting on cards, envelopes, all kinds of things. So this is all about taking a vacation. That is for sure. The next one also by Shore Living. These are pop-up stickers as well. Let me try to get the glare off for you. Look at that big fishing pole and the fish. Isn't that cute? Those are adorable. And then we have this one here, which is also by Shore Living. We have sandals and seagulls. Sandals and seagulls and seashells and sunglasses. Adorable. Last but not least, oh, I would love a piece of watermelon right now. We have um, a little shell necklace. Look at that. It's a little beaded shell necklace or bracelet rather. A popsicle. You have a leaf watermelon. You have a coconut. This is just adorable. And your base, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you're averaging nine to ten stickers per package, which is really not a bad price. All right, let's jump over to a couple new notebooks I found. These are all spiral bound. They're all 80 sheets and they are lined. This one is Smile. Again, spiral bound. These are four by six. And then there's your inside and your stickers on the back do peel off. The next one here says, yay, literally, yay. Again, we've got 60 sheets. My bad, 80 sheets. Why did I say 60? 80 sheets on the one I showed you prior to that. And there is the inside. And of course your sticker comes off. I love my notebooks. This one says, yes, girl. That is for sure. It's done in a pretty light, light mint, like a mint chocolate chip ice cream. And then here is your inside. I think these are my most favorite because you can fold them over right on one side, flip it over right on the other, and you don't have no binder in the middle, um, you know, to get in the way. <coughs> Last but not least, this one says sisters in this gold foil. And then they're all holding a heart. This one's done in a yellow background. There's your inside. Not bad for 80 sheets. Still worth the $1.25 in my opinion. Um, this one here is made by Jot. This is called a journal, but it's 60 sheets. It's six inches by eight inches. A lot of pliness here. You could bend it, do what you want. I just thought that cover with the moon and the stars looks so pretty. And it says, work hard, dream big. Here is the inside of your book. Still got plenty of room for bending it around. And then it's made by Ja, and your sticker does come off on the back. I needed some index cards, but I needed the big ones. So these are the four by sixes. I got a hundred in a package. These are the all white ones. So a hundred in a package. This was kind of fun. I went down the um, cars and stuff like that automotive section and they had all these little car air fresheners. So this first one is, these are all made by Driver's Choice. I found these down the air freshener aisle where the car stuff is. And he's got little suction cups on his feet. And this one's supposed to smell like new car smell. So there he is. And he's got little suction cups on his footsies. So you could put them on the window, on your dash. Um, let me give you a measurement for him. They're hard plastic. And he's just shy of five inches. So there is that guy. I also found one in yellow, which is fresh linen smell. Also has little suction cups on his footsies. So he'll sit on your dash like that and look at you and go, hello. Alrighty. Also found, this is also by Driver's Choice. And this is citrus. And this to me looks like a dragonfly. Yes, it's got a suction cup on there on the bottom right here. I don't know if you can see it but it's a dragonfly and these are pretty good size. They're not small. This guy has got a four inch wingspan. So that's not tiny at all. 
And, and, hold on, hold on. Oh, there they are. I actually got two of this because it was purple. Um, this one here is also by Driver's Choice. This is Ocean Breeze. And it's a beautiful bluish, looks like a um, bluish kind of mon. Well, no, Monarch's got all kinds of colors. But this one does have different blues. And it's got a big suction cup right there on the bottom. So there is that one, which is really pretty. And then they have this purple one in the butterfly. And this one is mixed berry. I love that. I got two of these because I love the purple. Even after the scent wears off, who cares? You know, it's still pretty. You could even put this, you know, in your kitchen on your window if you wanted a little fresh scent. They also had this last one I picked up by Driver's Choice. And this one is Lemon. And it's the little taxi. It does have a little cord, which you can see right there. You just pull up and you can put it on your rear view mirror if you want, uh, depending on what your local laws are in your state. But that's super cute. You have to hang that up when you're driving people around. This one is three inches in width. I needed some more deodorant and came across the Power Stick and the Extreme Cool Blast. This is the 2.0 size. Besides it being in a black container, and purple. I do love the way it smells. I don't know if this is for men or women, but I love the cool blast smell. It just smells really, really fresh. Ooh, yeah, like a York peppermint patty cruising through the air. So I got two of those. Also, these are so cute. Now, I have a little nightlight in the hallway because, you know, don't want to be falling over the dog at night. I So I periodically go down by where the little lights are. These are so cute. So this is a little light and it is um, LED and it goes on and off all by itself. So this one's got a little dinosaur. It almost kind of looks like um, Woodstock. If you were to paint this yellow, it would almost pass for Woodstock. So, and then there's your bulb right there in the back. Again, LED. They also had this little green frog, which I thought was cute. And then they had this little pink unicorn. -y. Yeah, I'm putting that in my room. Isn't that adorable? I think they're just too, too cute. Yes, I said it, too, too cute. All right, let me see. I'm putting everything back in a bag here. So in case um, Mia comes flying in the door, things might get a little crazy. All right, I'm going to share a couple plastic vases with you. And then I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to tell you I got too much to show you, so I'm going to split the video up. All right, these are made of plastic. And they measure eight inches in height. This one is white and it's got all these little lines in it. And there's your shape. It's got a nice wide opening. And then I also found one in black. Again, plastic, but aren't those cute? Something, something, you know, it's that time of the year when we start doing flowers and all that other fun stuff. So, all right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Any questions, comments, hit me up down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for your support. Have a great evening. Bye for now.